In this video, we'll talk about the requirements and who qualifies for DV Lottery 2022. Just came out uh, last week, and so I wanted to give a, a general overview of the program. We have a lot of questions, who qualifies, what's gonna happen with this program. So stay tuned, and I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody, in this video, we'll give you a, a general overview of the Green Card Lottery FY22 that is coming up. It just started on October 7th registration is just open and so we'll talk about who qualifies and what's going to happen with this program we get a lot of questions on that so I thought why not let's do a quick video if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe to our channel click that bell to be notified so you don't miss any of our videos and also give us that big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you my name is Jacob Sapochnik I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego California I'm also the founder of Immigration New, an online platform that combines education, information, and community for immigrants who are going through the immigration process just like you. So make sure to check this community. The link is in the description of this video. So let's dive right in. DV Lottery FY22 just released. And um, let's talk about the general things first. So they just open up registration. It's an online registration for DV Lottery FY22. It opens, it opened October 7th, and it's gonna close at noon, um, November 10th. There's gonna be 55,000 visas available for immigrants from countries that have low rate of immigration. That's why they wanna create more diversity. So countries that provide us the largest number of immigrants are not gonna dominate and so they want to create more diversity and therefore created this um, DV lottery. So in the description of this video, we'll put a link to the actual State Department DV lottery um, application. So you'll be able to apply. It's free to apply. Remember that make sure before you do so to see if your country is excluded. And if your country is excluded, you're not going to be able to apply. However, there's an exception. If you're married to somebody who is not from a country that is listed on the excluded list, then you're still gonna be able to apply through your spouse, and that's another way to charge yourself into the system by applying through your spouse. So that's a good way to kind of bypass the list of excluded countries if you're married to somebody who is who was born in, in a country that is not excluded. So just something to think about and know, because most people don't know that. So what are the education and work experience requirements? Because there are specific requirements to apply for the DV lottery. First of all, you must have at least a high school diploma or the equivalent or two years of work experience in the past five years in a qualifying occupation. And a qualifying occupation, this is actually based on the Department of Labor guidelines. It's one that requires at least two years of training in that particular field. So how do we apply for the DV lottery? So the only way to apply for the DV lottery is through the State Department online uh, portal. It's a free portal. Now, I know there's a lot of companies out there that offer services for a fee, which is fine, but remember, there is no obligation for you to pay anybody. It's a free service. It's very easy to use. What is really important is how you do it. You have to list all family members and all children. If you don't list them at that time, if later on you're selected and you remember suddenly that you forgot to list your wife or kids, it's gonna be very impossible for you to, uh, to add them or it may be considered that you've done something as, as fraud. So make sure you do it carefully and add all family members and all children. Also, there are very specific photo requirements that are listed there. Make sure you follow those requirements because if not, your application will be disqualified. Once you submit the application online successfully, you're gonna get uh, a confirmation number. Make sure you keep that confirmation number in a safe place. You're gonna need that later on to check on the status of your application. So don't forget to keep that confirmation number once it's issued. So how do you check the results of, your, of the lottery? Do you remember that confirmation number we talked about before? Well, you're gonna need that. On May 8, 2021, the results are published online. You'll be able to log in, and you can check that between May 8 to September 30th, 2021. This is the only way that the Department of State will be able to notify people if they select it or not. So make sure you keep that number, and don't forget the important dates of May 8, 2021 through September 30th, 2021 to check on the results of your winning. So what happens after you're selected? Once you're selected, the, the Department of State is going to provide further instructions how to proceed with um, gaining the actual visa number. So this is also called uh, consular processing, 
we're going to use uh, agencies like the KCC and the U.S. Embassy to be able to go through um, a series of forms. You're going to be able to give more information about the family, about your financial uh, background and all that kind of stuff. And uh, once you continue, once you finish that process, at the end of it, you'll be uh, required to attend a consular uh, visa interview, just like any other immigrant. At that point, you'll be issued your, your green card. Remember, it is really important to finish everything, this entire process, whether you're inside the U.S. or at the U.S. Embassy abroad, before September 30th, 2021. Otherwise, you're going to lose the ability to, uh, to immigrate. And like I said, this year, there was a lot of litigation for a lot of DV visa lottery winners. They were stuck abroad. They were not able to attend their visa interviews because of COVID-19. Embassies were shut down, proclamation, and all these things. And therefore, uh, these lawsuits that were filed essentially forced the embassy to issue visas to a certain number of people before the deadline. Unfortunately, quite a few people missed it this year. Uh, and, I, and I mentioned in the previous video how we were able to help one of our clients inside the United States, who was inside the United States doing an adjustment of status to push his case before USCIS to force them to get him an interview before September 30th of this year, we were successful. So remember, once you're selected, it's not over. You still have a series of forms to complete, whether you're abroad to go through consular processing, or if you're inside the United States to finish your process through an adjustment of status. All in all, the DV lottery is a great program. It's designed to um, diversify the population of immigrants in the, in the United States. Um, it creates an interest in immigration to the United States. And it also helps people that are not able to immigrate through education, through uh, investment, through family members, a chance at the American dream. We hope that this program is gonna stay uh, there's been a lot of talk about the, this administration that is, you know, to uh, get rid of this DV lottery. Um, we don't know what's going to happen, but we hope that whether there's going to be uh, a change in this administration or not, the DV lottery will not be impacted and we'll be able to see more and more immigrants continue to come here through this amazing program. So, once again, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this overview was helpful. Um, just wanted to kind of, um, you know, a lot of you were asking me to create a video and explain this process. So here we go. DV Lottery just started a few days ago. If you're interested, go ahead, try it. Who knows, you may be the lucky, the next lucky one to get a green card. Once again, thanks for watching. If you're here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Click that bell to be notified so you don't miss any of our videos. And also, don't forget to join our private membership, Immigration New. It's your personal guide throughout your immigration process, whether you're beginning the process, in the middle of the process, or in the end, whether you have an attorney or not, Immigration New is your friend in immigration. So I look forward to seeing you in our next video, and let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.